The Italian Carcano bolt action rifle was adopted in the 1890s and it served all the way until the end of World War II. But sadly, this is a rifle that didn't get a lot of respect. The Italian Carcano was a very much a bolt action rifle that, similar to the others that were being adopted by the various militaries of the Western world in the uh, late 1800s, early 1900s. It was adopted in 1891. It was a uh, bolt action rifle in a 6.5 millimeter cartridge adopted by Italy and uh, uh, served Italy through both of the world wars. The M38 Carcano fires the 6.5 by 52 millimeter rifle cartridge from a six round end block type clip. There's actually an internal uh, magazine spring and an internal follower so that all you have to do is introduce the six round end block clip into the Carcano. The clip stays inside and in a unique way it remains inside the internal magazine of the Carcano rifle until you fire the sixth round and when you fire that sixth round and open the bolt the end block clip drops straight out of the bottom of the action. The Italians adopted the gun early on. They were, at, and at the time of their adoption, it was a, a uh, first line weapon. Uh, we tend to disparage it uh, a bit because it's sort of ramshackle in, in construction and the workmanship uh, is not very fine. But it's a very rugged and very serviceable and practical arm. It doesn't have a great reputation and certainly not a, a great collector's following and a lot of that has to do with the caliber. It was uh, initially uh, developed in a uh, 6.5 caliber and I think what the Italians were trying to do with uh, the 6.5 is what we called a gain twist rifling where the, uh, the actual pitch of the, uh, of the rifling in the barrel accelerates towards the muzzle and uh, it just wasn't uh, it wasn't really a, a cartridge that found a great deal of uh, appreciation amongst the servicemen that were using it. The Carcano refers to a, a family of rifles uh, starting in 1891, developed for the Italian military. Uh, Colonel Salvatore Carcano and Colonel Pervicino uh, were the designers of the rifle. And really what they did, they were in charge of, a, of an ordnance board uh, that assembled some of the best features available. If there's anything to be said to favor the Carcano, it may be that many people consider it to be one of the faster military bolt actions to operate. Uh, that may be uh, due to the fact that the action tends to be a little looser, especially with wear, but uh, people do report that they can work the Carcano uh, as fast or faster than any other military bolt action of the era. But there are a number of variations of the Carcano, starting with the 1891 carbine and rifle. Uh, the most common World War II version of the Carcano was the 1935, and it featured a uh, folding bayonet uh, that was uh, affixed to the barrel, and simply pulling it down and out, and you had a spike bayonet. And uh, after World War II, uh, there was not a lot of call for uh, Italian military service rifles, uh, so most were, were actually sold in the surplus market. This firearm earns its place in infamy on November 22nd, 1963 in Dallas, Texas, where a Tyranny Arsenal M38 Carcano carbine, serial number 2766, is used by a man by the name of Lee Harvey Oswald to assassinate the President of the United States, John F. Kennedy. Oswald's rifle is an interesting study because as we know, Oswald purchased the rifle after seeing an ad for Klein's Sporting Goods when Oswald ordered the rifle, it came in under $20 with a scope on it. Now, the sights that existed on the standard off-the-shelf M38 carbine are very, very crude. So clearly it's not a firearm that was intended to deliver accurate rifle fire at longer ranges. It was meant to be something that was used by mechanized troops or cavalry units against enemy at close range. It was never meant to be a precision sniping firearm. The Carcano has never captured the, uh, the, the imagination in, a, like, say, a romantic sense uh, that one has looked at the Grand or the Mauser and uh, taken the time to write and research on the subject. Uh, it's just that Italian rifle, and uh, it just doesn't have much of a, uh, of a dedicated following uh, at all. Um, so therefore, prices on the gunner 
they're still fairly reasonable until that time comes along that, that someone decides to try and, uh, and alter that.